Hi there, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your October 2018 reading. We're approximately spanning the time frame between the 1st and the 31st of the month. Um, it is Halloween that we're stepping into right towards the tail end of the month. Uh, let's see the energies coming through for you, dear Virgo. Um, I was meditating on your energy before I turned on the camera and I was getting for you um, this focus on like teaching. I was hearing teaching. I was getting also uh, almost like the desire to um, take very careful steps, even calculated steps towards what feels to be like a, um, a, uh, I'm hearing magic show that we want to put on the hermit coming through the five of wands, the three of wands in reverse, the star mirroring the five of wands. Um, it's, as I'm getting it for you, I'm hearing Aquarius here. This is the card associated with the archetype of Aquarius in the Major Arcana. Um, dear Virgo, the sort of feeling I'm getting is that you're getting super clear on what you want to play with as an asset. And it's like, yeah, that's a, that's a pair of scissors that I do kind of uh, feel can really add to my repertoire. I'm hearing for a number of you creatively. Um, the Six of Swords in reverse, the Sun of Pentacles in reverse, the Moon in reverse. Maybe dealing with a Scorpio. I'm hearing Sagittarius as well. Aries, I'm hearing. Aquarius as well. The Mother of Swords in reverse. And the World of Bright. The world is mirroring the moon. Um, there is a focus on a sense of a grand culmination. I'm hearing a series of events, chapters that we have worked so hard towards. Okay, and it's like this, this is, has been um, a process that uh, has been ongoing, perhaps uh, related to matters of investigation. Uh, the feeling I'm getting though is that um, you're getting called to the to the podium, uh, Virgo, in a certain way, and be that sort of literal, be that um, uh, uh, I'm hearing symbolic as well, esoteric, uh, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Um, the feeling is that you're getting kind of um, comfortable with. The storyline that you want to weave. Uh, the Daughter of Pentacles coming through right over the Father of Wands. There may be a focus on matters of public disclosure uh, that is to be eventually carried out. The Daughter of Wands I'm hearing by the Daughter of Wands. The Daughter of Pentacles is looking over at the Daughter of Wands. There may be a focus on who may be accompanying this transition I'm hearing, this move and this change. It may be related to matters of career. Okay, let us uh, get the cards out for you. I want to pull a Celtic Cross uh, Virgo. Uh, let's pull a card for the deep past, the recent past, moving into oh, you know what actually um let's pull let's pull um a few cards for the week by week okay and see how the energies move through the month the mid-month readings are now available dear virgo in the bio description box below you can feel free to get routed to those uh, there and thank you all so much for your due support with them as it helped me continue with them love and light to you all and right as i split the deck we got the two of cups mirroring the higher font i'm hearing are we ready we're ready i'm hearing et phone home whatever that may mean for you um you've got the son of cups coming through somebody is i'm hearing uh speaking through the landline whatever that may mean particularly for you uh perhaps related to matters that are spiritually based um energetically based there's a focus on i'm hearing futuristic values and visions the ace of cups right over the four of cups i'm hearing in hermit mode somebody is transmitting a message but it's it's almost like i'm getting it's like in morse code it's like for every letter there are four more letters okay that can be uh called upon for that uh, whatever that may mean, particularly for you, the higher font again coming through. Um, I'm getting that somebody is either abroad, son of pentacles, uh, somebody who is involved in a network I'm hearing specifically can be related to uh, the Scorpio archetype I'm getting specifically. I'm getting also the Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, we want to really uh, flesh out uh, what this project is and, and exactly um, where it takes all of the pieces of the puzzle, the temperance card upright, the eight of swords in reverse, we're really changing the way that we're perceiving uh, what the platform I'm hearing on the podium is to sort of look, taste like I'm hearing specifically, taste like, whatever that may be in particular for you, uh, to feel like, it's almost like, what is the response to what I am projecting? The ace of swords, projecting you are Virgo. I'm hearing your assets here specifically. 
you're getting like super clear as I'm getting it on um, what you want to almost, uh, I'm, I'm seeing it as like a uh, gauge, I'm hearing gauge as a, as a certain temperament as well to the changes that are that are being made. And I'm seeing that you're again, making it uh, very carefully and you're making it uh, almost in a cautious manner as well, where it's like, I am not just on stage, but I am uh, reflecting myself uh, in my own act. The Hermit again coming through your bearing a card in the Major Arcana Virgo. Right over the Ace of Cups. I'm hearing reservation. There's a little bit of a reservation to the way that perhaps a, uh, I'm hearing a promotion is made. I'm getting, uh, being, uh, let's say related to matters of, of energy work I'm getting as well. Um, related to the emotional dimension, how you may be explaining certain emotional matters to another individual. Again, perhaps somebody with a lot of water on the chart, uh, how it is that you are, um, confirming or clarifying also what it is that you would like to uh, broadcast your vision as. And there's a focus here on meditation here in silence, whatever that may mean in particular for you, the judgment card upright and the son of wands upright. Um, but there's also a clarity at the same time. And it's like the whispers speak volumes. Okay. Um, from the shed, the chariot falling down right beneath here, the hierophant. Um, we're making it all the way home. Okay. With a certain storyline I'm getting for a number of with a certain also project. Um, there's a focus on timing and the feeling is that, well, timing is just right here. The nine of wands up right, leading up into the higher font. Uh, somebody is uh, making a, a presentation, I'm hearing specifically, to you, or you may be making one to another individual. It has to do with your assets I'm getting specifically, Virgo. Um, the son of cups is right beneath here, the father of cups. The father of cups has fallen out over the son of cups. Um, I'm hearing recording, tape recorder here with the Father of Cups and the Son of Cups. Just as I say that, the Mother of Cups in reverse um, is hinting at, I'm hearing alluding to um, the, uh, the uh, project. I'm hearing specifically timeline as well for a number of you. You may feel that you're channeling certain things I'm getting as well. It's almost like it may be a highly, highly, highly uh, intuitive, intuitive, intuitive time of uh, Virgo. Um, I'm hearing, but one that you feel is also fruitful, is lucrative, is productive. And it's like, I feel that the gears are moving, but I still feel the wind that is in a certain way supporting the motion of the train forward, whatever that may mean for you, five of cups in reverse. And again, I'm getting this feeling of like, you're getting, you're super aware of everything that sort of is involved in this uh, process, the justice card in reverse, uh, sort of edging into the five of cups in reverse, seven of pentacles at the base of the justice card and the five of cups, the judgment card upright again, right next to the ace of swords and the son of wands uh, looking over the judgment card the ten of swords is what you lead out with Me perpendicular to i'm hearing mirroring the ace of swords i'm hearing maya whatever that may mean in particular for you the ten of pentacles right beneath the ten of swords we've made a decision okay we made it a long time ago <laughs> we didn't need to make that decision uh today i'm hearing or tomorrow to have made it very clear uh, already on a personal level what we align with where it is we would like to take our things i'm hearing specifically for a number of you where it is that we would like to uh, market i'm hearing our craft from as well and what holds value for us is the ultimate question that comes under the razor sharp i'm hearing laser uh scorpio vision whatever that may mean in particular for you uh be it if you got strong scorpio placement your very own chart it's kind of like well that's uh something i am um really gaining a sense of clarity with and i'm really applying let's say my um my my intuitive sort of knowings about it uh, uh out as okay let us uh, again try to get the cards up for you here uh, Virgo, from the first to the 31st of the month of october <laughs> let us pull the cards now for you virgo okay I'm hearing wishing, wishing, wishing upon a star. The star card coming right through. I'm hearing whack-a-mole, whatever that may mean in particular for you, Virgo, take as you will. Oh, 
Mother of Pentacles. Okay. Um, flying out acrobatically. Major focus on on uh, this archetype as I'm getting it. We'll get into that though. Uh, I'm hearing Aquarius, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Three of Pentacles upright. Uh, the Six of Wands uh, right next to the Three of Pentacles. Three have a six at your apex. Let's pull a few more cards and see here what comes through. Ten of Cups in reverse, upside down. Perpendicular to Ten of Swords in reverse, right side up. Um, okay. The Butterfly on the Six of Wands is like flying back into the Ten of Swords. Um, I'm hearing there's a message and we're marketing it. Ten of Wands I'm hearing here related to the Mother of Wands. Somebody's carrying a heavy, heavy load. Father of Wands in reverse. The pair here, a duo. Um, the same element court cards. Right in between the Six of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, let us though get a few more cards out here for you, Virgo, and see what comes through. Okay. Card of Scorpio coming through. I'm hearing revealing, revealing our act. Father of Cups and the Seven of Cups right beneath. Okay, um, the death card in reverse is what you lead into the beginning period, let's say, of this month of October with, and right, always, always huge personal intuition, general reading, of, of course, right? It may resonate differently for everyone. Um, but the death card in reverse is looking over at the Eight of Swords. The temperance card is looking up at the Empress. This is Sagittarius and Aries. The Emperor, Empress, I said Emperor, take it as you will, is sitting just next to the Father of Cups and the Seven of Cups. The star card leading out of the three of pentacles, the three of wands, right over the five of wands, mother of cups, and the father of swords. Okay. Um, they're stacked upon one another here from the five of wands to the father of swords, uh, trailing into the tail end of the month, the nine of wands upright, the chariot upright, just beneath the nine of wands, and the nine of pentacles upright, mirroring the nine of wands. The ace of cups is what you lead out with Virgo. I'm here engaging the temperature for that conversation. Uh, four of cups. The devil sits in reverse, mirroring the ace of cups. Virgo. We are um, making a major change. I'm hearing move as well. There could be a focus on what is actually physically um, uh, sort of um, uh, 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 replaced. I'm getting specifically related to the Three of Pentacles. There could be focus on like renovation. I'm getting that for a number of you. Um, but ultimately, there um, is so much to be said for what this chapter is uh almost like uh, surfacing as in a certain way and it's like well okay it's this is not just i'm hearing one term to the next it's not just another semester this is i'm hearing the final dance um of of the conversation i'm hearing specifically for a number of you and there could be a focus on legality uh for a number of you um a focus though as well on what we are presenting and there may be a number of individuals involved here, particularly in Aries, um, with a water sign. I'm hearing a mother here with the mother, the father of cups, uh, motioning over to the Empress, the temperance card mirroring here, the father of cups. There could be a focus on a Sagittarius individual or somebody who's abroad. Um, vision, I'm hearing strong vision. The nine of wands is mirroring the nine of pentacles um, that you lead out with a focus on uh, forecasting. Okay. And it, I'm getting that you trail out of this period with an inherent knowingness of what you're grappling with. What there's a sense of stability. There's also a sense of change, but it's in a way of like, okay, I know that I have this layover and then I've got to take that other train. I'm hearing boat bus to get me to where I want to go. Uh, I know that I'm eventually going to be sort of in motion and movement and transit. What is it though, that I remain, um, omnipresent of whatever that may be interesting for you. I'm getting related to the star. What is the very thread that connects all of the pieces to the puzzle that, uh, is being presented to me in this moment in time as a process of transformation I'm you're transitioning and there is a focus on the intellectual sort of a rational space that accompanies uh what feels to be like a change that is happening physically i'm getting also impulsively where it's like i just uh i feel like i need to say this i'm hearing specifically for a number of you and i'm not going to question that um there is a focus though on what is um 
uh, being experienced on an emotional level. Okay, um, the death card here in reverse, uh, mirroring the temperance card. Temperance is perpendicular to the devil. Uh, the devil, I said, the death card. Take it as you will. There could be focus on the archetype of Capricorn as well, but what eventually has come around the mountain? It's like, yes, I'm hearing they're here. I'm hearing they're arrived with their bags and they're uh, already... Um, moved out whatever that may be an objective for you um they focus on um who is uh being presented and what exactly is being presented maybe the focus here there could be a sagittarius though that is um coming coming through the woodwork the ace of cups so to speak right over the four of cups uh again virgo there's a sense of confirmation of what we have been grappling with in a physical way perhaps even uh that is now being brought up uh, to light i'm hearing to surface as well let's see how these energies move through uh, to check out the mid-month readings of 15 to the 30th of the month feel free to check out the link in the bio description box below and that will route you to those readings thank you so much for tuning in dear virgo loving the lights you enjoy this period of october and i'll see you soon bye